What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome new subscribers. Today's a very special day. Not only is it my main sidekick's birthday. Woo, woo, happy birthday. But I have a package right here that I'm very excited and I'm sure my sidekick is very excited to open. It is her birthday. We're doing a birthday unboxing of the all new Griot's Garage G9 Orbital Polisher. I knew it. Oh, you knew it. Yeah, I've so, been talking about it since we got it. Yeah, I know. I've had this since yesterday, but I've had some tricks up my sleeve for this one's birthday. So I could not come out here and do an unboxing, but we are here right now. I'm very excited. This is their all new polisher. It's replacing the GG6, which is the Griot's Garage 6 inch random orbital. And uh, let's go ahead and get straight to it, guys. Let's go ahead and open this box up. As you guys can see, it has not been opened. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. Fresh Griot's tape. Fresh Griot's tape. I hope all you guys out there are having a wonderful day or night. Like I always say, whatever it is where you guys are at. First things first, Griot's always packs their stuff phenomenally well. Go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. First things first. All right, we got the invoices. Okay. Keep on. Get this in there like that. Right, let's go ahead and do this. Attack of the attack of the packing. All right. So there's nothing else in that. Let's get that thing out of the way. What do I do with this? All new. G9. Boom. So you guys can see it in the box. The new G9 Random Orbital Polisher. All new design. Now from what I'm learning and what I have learned, this is an all new design. I mean there is nothing from the old GG6 in this new polisher. This is redesigned from the ground up. New motor, new body, I mean just completely redesigned. So we're gonna go to open this thing up. Let's see what it comes with. Get everything checked out. And, and then we're gonna try it. And then we're gonna try it out. I've got a test panel over there. We're gonna see how this thing works. I'm gonna give you guys my initial thoughts and feedback. We're gonna see, you know, what kind of Craig's chicken to do. It comes uh, with a six inch back plate, but I do have a five inch back plate for it. And we're gonna see how that works. Even though it is not designed for the G9, I bought it a couple months back. I did contact Griot's and they said that I can use uh, my old five inch back plate, but I may have some vibration uh, because the back plate is not tuned to the machine. So we're gonna see how that you know feels and if I'm feeling any different vibration. And then uh, I'll give you guys my opinion on that as well. So it comes with a nice chart. Um, here's how easy it is to create flawless paint. Kind of gives you your, you know, pads and teamed up with what polishes and compounds to use. So that's pretty sweet. And then we have this. What's that? A sticker. A sticker? Oh, yeah. We know where that's going to go, huh, guys? What's that in your hand? This looks like, as a lot of polishers do, they come with an extra set of brushes. It comes with a a nice wrench to uh, hold the back plate so you can change your back plates. It feels, this actually feels like a really nice quality right here. Not bad, not bad at all. So you got your wrench. What else we got in there? Got this and this really nice tote bag. Comes with a nice tote bag to keep all your stuff in and then of course uh, the pamphlet for the polisher. And like I said, I watched, you know, a little bit of info on it. I watched Griot's do, you know, their videos on how they came about designing the machine and and then they did an awesome job redesigning it. And then we have this. What it is that? It looks like the plug for the thing. It is the plug. And all new on this Griot's G9, long. it comes with a detachable power cord, which in my case is a absolute plus so much easier to store 
uh, you ain't got to worry about wrapping the cord around the machine or getting the cord, you know, tangled up. And to me, this is one of the biggest weak points of a lot of the machines. This is lighter than the one, the other one we had. I feel like. Oh, it's lighter than our other one. Yeah. Awesome. I don't think this can do anything. So that's pretty much it, guys. My sidekick. And then the polisher. She's holding on to the polisher, no problem, so you know it's light. Oh, first impressions, this thing is light. This thing's very, very light. Go ahead and get this thing unwrapped. Ah! Check that out, guys. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It's got a lot of double shot rubber. It's got the nice flat pad on so you can set your polisher on the top without it you know falling over. I really like that. First initial impressions. Uh, it's, it's smaller than I thought it would be. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but uh, it's compact. Someone likes the back plate. The back plate spins nice and freely. I like that. It's very comfortable. So this has got the 1000 watt motor. Uh, this is the G9. Nine is nine millimeter throw uh, versus the old Griot's Garage, I believe it was an eight millimeter throw. Uh, I don't know too much about the GG6. Uh, I, I was gonna buy one, but you know, I held off uh, when I first started getting into detailing and, and paint enhancement uh, correction. Uh, I started off with a Harbor Freight Chicago Electric. It's an eight millimeter throw, I mean, that's what I started with. Uh, so, upgrading to this. Oh yeah. This here, very, very comfortable. The, the double shot rubber in the front fits your hand perfectly. My hands aren't that big, so. Okay, enough minimal little thing. So it fits nice in your hand here. It's got the platypus head. It's got a lot of rubber on it for when you're gripping it from the bottom. The handle is very, very comfortable. The trigger is uh, it's nice. The trigger lock. The trigger lock seems nice. All right, let's check out this dial. So it's got the adjustable dial, one through six. That's adjustable on either side, if you're left or right-handed. Hopefully you guys are seeing this good enough. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the clicks seem pretty intuitive. You can, you get a lot of feedback there, but I, I, all right. So you don't have the, the half click. You don't have the half clicks. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six. Not going to make or break the world at all. It's very, very light. Another good thing that I like is the detachable cable. You just stick it in there like that. You can hear it click. It's locked in there. When you're ready for storage, you just hit the button, pop it out, and you're ready for storage. So that makes storing it much easier. You don't have to put any tension on the cord, wrapping it up, doing this here and there. So that is a big plus. Um, I'm not a six inch backplate kind of guy. Like I said, I've got a five inch backplate from Griot's, a vented one uh, that I purchased for this machine. We're gonna see how that works on here as well. Uh, but I'm gonna try out the six inch backplate, see how that feels. We're gonna swap the five inch, see if I feel any kind of vibration versus the six inch. Uh, like they said, I might. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get the test panel ready. All right, so here is my test panel. This is the old door from the GSX. As so you guys can see, it's got a big old dent in it. So this is now my test panel. Um, it is pretty scratched up. It was sitting on the side of my shop uh, for a couple months in my old car. Uh, hopefully you guys can kind of see. I don't have the best light. Still need to get my Astro Pneumatic. Uh, but I did wipe it down, I clayed it, I paint prepped it, um, and we're going to get ready to kind of do, you know, we're just doing a light polish. I'm going to be using the Griot's Garage 
complete compound nothing major uh, this is more just to you know kind of show you guys what the tool sounds like and how loud it is and my initial thoughts on you know the machine itself so I'm gonna get you guys set up uh, in the tripod we're gonna start out with a six inch back plate uh, that comes with it and then after that we're gonna swap to my Griot's Garage 5 inch this is not meant for the G9 uh, this was before they came out with the G9 this is why I said I may experience some vibration due to this back plate not actually being tuned for the G9. They said I could use it, but if I do experience that, then that's probably why. So I just want to see what the difference is. I am going to order the back, the, the correct back plate for this machine. Uh, but for now, you know, I got to make do with what I got. I think I've only used this thing twice. So let's go ahead and get you guys set up on the tripod and we're going to get this test started. All right, so I got my Griot's Garage Complete Compound. I'm gonna get this pad set up here. I've been really excited to get this G9 and try it out. Not worried about results and what I can get out of the panel. I am gonna butter the pad though. This is a brand new pad. But this is mainly so you guys can see. I'm gonna start out on speed one. So you guys can hear that. That's speed one. That's speed two. That was speed one through six. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna swap the back plates uh, and we're gonna see what the five inch back plate can do on this G9. All right, I went ahead and swapped the six inch back plate for my five inch back plate that I've had. Uh, once again, this is not the back plate that comes with the G9. So I'm just going to see how this one works out. Uh, see if I'm experiencing any, you know, vibrations compared to the the six inch back plate. And uh, let's go ahead and test this five inch back plate out, guys. Again, we're going to start out on speed one. 
going to spread this out. Lock it in. Speed four. tested out the six inch back plate that came with the machine uh, and we also tested out my five inch back plate that I also I already had before I purchased the machine uh, you can tell this one's white this one's black this one came with the machine they do have a specific back plate to go with the G9 um, so let's start off uh, with my initial thoughts as I'm using it um, it is extremely comfortable. Um, I found the front grip here very, very, very comfortable. Uh, it gives you very precise, uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, it feels like you have so much control when you're holding it here. Uh, you got the nice rubber on the head. Um, it's just, it's, it's really comfortable. Here is pretty comfortable as well, but I found myself in this position a lot of you know preferably um, as far as power wise now this has got the thousand watt motor I'm gonna give you my honest my honest opinion one through three there's really nothing there I mean you're not really getting anything done there but besides spreading out the product it starts to come alive right around four you start to get some action I was noticing uh, some stalling you know when I was going one through three I mean, it stalled very easy. Once I clicked it up to four, it was a different story. It was a whole new animal. Uh, the power is definitely there. I found my sweet spot uh, between four and five. Now, that may change for you guys out there that are used to the powerful machines. But I found the sweet spot for me was around four and five. Uh, when I went all the way up to six, um, it, did, it seemed to kind of want to wander just a little bit. Um, I don't know if that was me. It could be me. But that's just what I'm noticing. Um, is it a bad? No, not at all. Uh, but like I said, my sweet spot's around four and five. Um, it's got the cooling fins right around the you know the little orbital spinner. Uh, I don't know what you call that, but um, it's supposed to cool, help keep it cool. I can say it's just lukewarm right now after using it. Um, you know, nothing too hot. Um, this is a very, very, very nice machine uh, I could tell you I absolutely recommend this to someone that's just getting into wanting to learn polishing they want to learn how to take care of their cars the weekend warriors the DIYers 
Um, I mean, even for professionals. I mean, I'm not a professional, so I can't say it works perfect for you guys. But um, it did an awesome job over there on the on the door panel, uh, even with just some complete compound and a, and a you know orange correcting pad. Uh, I got some really really nice results. The panel actually looks really good. I'm not really too concerned about how the panel looked. I wasn't going after correction, but I was kind of blown away at the the amount of enhancement that I got out of that door just playing around. Uh, so yes, this is a absolute fantastic polisher. Um, I love it. It is definitely going to get used for me. Um, I did notice a little bit more vibration when I went to this back plate than with the six inch, even though I'm not a six inch kind of guy, you know, it's just a little too much for me. Uh, I, I like the five inch back plate with the five and a half inch pads. I was using both Griot's Garage orange foam correcting pads. Uh, either way, they were both awesome, uh, very comfortable. This is just a fantastic product. Griots, you guys did an awesome job with this G9. I was so excited to use it. Um, highly recommended. Not enough to be said about it. You guys let me know in the comments below if you want to see me test this out on, on a car and give you guys some results. Uh, I'd be more than happy to. And be sure to look for this in some future videos. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up on the G9. We're going to go inside and have some cake. I just want to say thank you, Griots. This polisher is awesome. For all you DIYers, Weekend Warriors, go out and pick this up. You will not be disappointed. I promise you guys that. Uh, for $150, it's a steal. I mean, you just... For what you get, you can't beat it. The only, 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 only con I can think of is you don't have half clicks. But, like I said, once you get up to four or five, that's my sweet spot. That's when the machine starts to come alive for me. It starts to show its power about that 1,000-watt motor. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm excited. Uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful night. I appreciate it. If you guys like the video, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Hit the bell, make, you know, make sure you guys get notified when I upload more videos. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful night, and I will catch you all on the next video.